I bring you to the Vala Simpson Whirly Gig Park in Wilson, North Carolina for our first stock photo of the week. This is a new feature in which I will take one shot and go through an entire process of showing you how to submit the stock. Now generally speaking you don't make a lot of money on stock photos, but what you don't make for in the beginning is residual income and it's all a numbers game. The more stock photos you have in your portfolio, the more sales you get, the more money you make. There are people that make a living off of it. Myself, my money primarily comes from somewhere else, but I do draw money from stock. The interesting thing about stock photography is you're only limited by your imagination. So as long as you have a creative imagination, you can come up with interesting things to shoot and submit to stock. So let's get started today. Whirly gigs are like giant pinwheels. So I want to show motion in these for my stock photo. So I'm gonna find one out here in a second. We've got a little bit of breeze blowing and we should be able to get something to submit. All right, the composition I'm gonna try to grab in this is this blue whirly gig here and catch the motion. Because I'm trying to catch the motion and I've got bright sunshine, I've got two options. One option is to put a filter on the front or the second option is just to wind everything down so I can have a little bit longer shutter speed. Uh, what I have to do is shoot ISO 32 uh, at F22, and that gives me a one-tenth of a second a shutter on here, and then that should be enough to get motion in this early gig for the photo. So I've got it set on a two-second timer to reduce camera shake, and there's our shot. You'll see it right here. Okay, so we've done the easy part, and we've taken the image that we want. Now we need to process it, caption it, and submit it. First step, processing. In order to process it, I obviously have to pull the image into some program to do the processing. I'm going to do this with Lightroom. So let's get the image. I'm going to drop it in Lightroom. Okay. So here's the image. Looks like it may be a little overexposed. Um, gonna set the lens profile on here real quick. And it's got some presets that I've done. But let's bring the exposure down just a little so I can see those blues and see the motion. We'll go ahead and drop the highlights and also get rid of shadows. And I'm going to up the clarity just a tad. Again, there's motion in this, so that's why you see the blur. Alright, so we've got the image that we want through the processing, and do it. let's go in here. Play a little bit with those blues and the reds. Alright, so there's the image we're going to go with, and now I'm going to export it and save it to, the, to a file. Now captioning can be done several different ways. You can caption in Lightroom, you can caption in another program such as Photo Mechanic, which is what I use primarily because I use it for sports and it's easy for me to call photos as well, or you can caption when you go online. As we advance through more of these videos, we'll do it different ways. Today we'll just do it with the online version. There are many stock agencies as well. You have micro stock, macro stock, uh, you have dedicated agencies, you have sports photography agencies. The more popular ones with the micro stock is like Shutterstock, Dreamstime, iStock, Adobe Stock. 
And the one I'll do today will be on Shutterstock, and you'll see how their platform looks. So we start here, and I'm going to bring in just one photo. And you can see they, um, they're looking for like JPEGs. We're going to drag the image over and process into their online uploader. Alright, now we've got the image uploaded and it gives us a little icon of it. We're going to hit next. And we're only sending one image in. Alright, this is to submit. So I have to click this. This is going to be editorial use only. And then I have to write a description. I choose a category. We're going to go with arts. It's an editorial item, so I do not have to have release. All right, now keywords. Really gig. Pinwheel. Folk art. Art. And you can see, basically I'm choosing different keywords to help people locate it. All right, so once we've got that, and then we're going to come down and we hit submit. If you've enjoyed this on stock photography, I'll have a new episode every Monday regarding stock photography with a stock photo of the week. So make sure you hit subscribe below and that notification bell so you'll be notified when I have the videos come out. And hit the like button. And also, any questions that you may have, feel free to leave in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them, whether it's in an episode or below. Also, in the description, you'll see two referral links to two agencies that I use. And click those, apply, and let's start making some money with stock photography. We'll see you next time.